Conservation of Mass, Balancing Chemical Equations, Signs 10, Chemical Reactions, Video 8. Law of Conservation of Mass. This law states that during a chemical reaction, matter is neither created or destroyed. Reactants are the starting material of a chemical reaction, whereas our products refer to the substances that are formed. The number and type of atoms in a reaction is equal to the number and type in the product. You can think of this as a two-sided balance beam. They need to be balanced. For example, propane can completely burn in air mixed with oxygen and form carbon dioxide in water. The balanced chemical equation for this reaction is C3H8 plus 5O2 gives me 3CO2 plus 4 H2O. Let's count what we have. So my propane, I have three C's and I have eight H's. From my oxygen, I have O2 but I have five of them. So I actually have two times five giving me ten. On the other side I have three carbon. I have eight hydrogen. And oxygen I actually get from two different spots. I get 3 times 2 here gives me 6 and I have 4. So 6 plus 4 gives me 10. So I can look and both sides are equal. And that is why this equation is balanced, but we'll talk how do we get to that balanced equation is the big question. Steps in balancing chemical equations. Step one, balance other atoms and leave hydrogen and oxygen until last. Step two, balance your hydrogen or your oxygen. Usually one of these elements is found only in one reactant and one product. In this case, that would be our hydrogen. And balance this one first and then the other. So, I'm first going to balance my carbon, then my hydrogen, and then my oxygen. Because as we can see, hydrogen is only in one reactant and one product. So, First, I need to count what I have. Well, I have one carbon, four hydrogen, oh, that should be a two, and I have two oxygen. On this side, I have one carbon, I have two hydrogen. And when I'm counting my oxygen, I've got two and one. So I've got two plus one equals three. So I need to first look at my carbon. Carbons are one and one, so they're balanced, and we can just leave them as is. 
Our hydrogens are a problem. This one's four, this one's two. So that means I need more. So I'm going to put a two out front. So that actually times us by two, which gives us four, which now means we're good. But this also has changed my oxygen. So I need to fix it. So now I still have two, but here I have two times one and two. So two plus two equals four. But that still means I have an issue because I only have two on this side. So I need to put a two out front. And that gives me two times two gives me four and I'm balanced. Step three is to double check the equation to make sure all atoms are balanced. So again, my if I start with my carbon, I've got one, one, four, 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 and two plus two is four. So I am good. So let's try some. So here we have Mg plus Cl2 gives us Mg uh, Cl2. So let's count what we have. Mg I've got one, Cl I've got two, Mg I've got one, Cl I've got two. Oh look, this one's balanced. I don't have to do anything. So I can just leave it as it is and it's balanced. So let's look at another example. I've got hydrogen plus my chlorine giving me HCl. So let's count up what I have. I have two hydrogen, I have two chlorine, I've got one hydrogen, and I've got one chlorine. That means I need a two out front of here. That makes two, that makes two, and now I'm balanced. All right. Here we've got Na, sodium, plus sulfur gives me Na2 S. So I've got Na, I've got one. S, I've got one. Na, I've got two. S, I've got one. So if we look, my Na's are a problem. My sulfurs are good. So I need two. So I can put a two up front. And now I have two. And now I'm good. Let's try another one. H2 plus O2 gives me H2O. So I count up what I have. And now I need to balance. So my hydrogen right now are good. So let's look at my oxygen. I've got two. And I've got one. So that means I need two of this whole entire thing. But when I do that, I not only affect my oxygen, I affect my hydrogen. So now I have four. Which means now my oxygen are good, but my hydrogen are not. I need four. So I need to put a two out front. Now I'm good. So let's do another one. Okay, so let's balance what we have. So 
So AL, I've got one and two, and O's, I've got twos and threes. Twos and threes always make six. Now I need to balance my aluminum by putting a four up front, and I'm balanced. Let's do another. So let's count K. BR2, 1, K1, BR. So my potassiums are good, my bromiums are not. Therefore, I need to put a 2 up front. But when I do that, my bromiums are now good, but my potassiums are not. So I need to put a 2 up front of here. Now, let's go a little bit more complex. Let's look at Al2 S3 plus Ca gives us Cas plus aluminum. So let's count what we have. Al, I've got two. S, I've got three. Ca, I have one. So again, I count again. Al, I have one. S, I have one. Ca, I have one. So my Cas are good. My S's are not, and neither are my aluminums. So, aluminum, I need more. So, I need a total of two more. So I'm going to put a two up front, that makes two, and we're good. My sulfur, I need three more. So I can put a three up front, and now I'm good. And when I do that, I also change my calcium. So I need to look over on this side, and I need to put a 3 up front. And now I'm good. Let's do one more example for good measure. We're going to look at Mg3N2 plus NaCl, MgCl2 plus Na. 3n. So let's write out what we have. Mg I have 3, N I have 2, Na I have 1, and Cl I have 1. On the other side, Mg I have 1, uh, N. I have one, and A I have three, CL I have two. Now do note that I'm organizing them so that it's easy to see. It makes it a lot easier to see what I need more of because I'm comparing right across. It's easy to get confused if you put them everywhere around. All right, so my MGs, let's start with them. I've got three and I've got one. So if I put a three up front, I now have three. But I also have changed my chlorine, my chlorine. So I need to do 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. Now I need to consider my nitrogens. I've got 2 and 1. Well, I can't really do anything right now other than put a 2 out front here. When I do that, that makes us 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. So now my first two are balanced. Now my NaCl, I need 6 of each, so I put a 6 over here, and I'm balanced. <laughs>